<laughs> Welcome to the 211th commencement of Tarleton State University. This is a magnificent day for the university as these graduates join the ranks of distinguished Tarleton alumni during this, our centennial year as a member of the Texas A&M University system. Yeah, a couple of whoops out there, yes. <laughs> to open this ceremony, the colors will be presented by the Texan Battalion Color Guard. The national anthem will be sung by sophomore music major, Logan Throckmorton. He will be accompanied by the Tarleton Wind Ensemble. Following the national anthem, the invocation will be given by Dr. Kyle McGregor, Vice President for the Division of Advancement and External Relations. Gentlemen, Please remove your caps, and I ask all who are able to remain standing for the posting of the colors, the singing of the national anthem, and the invocation.
Please join me in the invocation. On this commencement day, today we are of one mind and one heart in giving thanks for these students and for all they will accomplish. As we reflect on all that is past and all that is yet to come, we are mindful of the many people to whom we owe thanks. Families that encouraged education, teachers and mentors who shared their knowledge and experience, friends who provided support and helped make a lifetime of memories. We ask that these graduates reflect the core values of this university as they use their knowledge and abilities to act with integrity, standing up for what is right, to serve and lead others with compassion, to foster a culture of civility, kindness, and inclusion, to respect and shape traditions for our time, to set a standard of excellence and strive always to reach it. May the gratitude we feel today inspire each of us to bring even greater joy into our lives and the lives of others. Amen. You may be seated. <clears throat> well, graduates, this is a glorious day to celebrate your achievements. Today is certainly a milestone for you, but also for your family and your friends. We know you've worked hard, you've sacrificed, and I expect you've dreamed of this day. You've also taken different paths to get here. When I addressed the class of 2017 as you entered in August of 2013, I remarked that there were only 120 weeks of classes between the convocation t-shirt you were wearing then and the cap and gown that you are wearing today. Many of you took different paths coming possibly from other universities and colleges. But whatever your journey, you are here now to claim your diploma and to celebrate your victory. Today, you join the ranks of Tarleton alumni connected always to your alma mater. A lot has happened since you first came to campus three, four, or more years ago. Listen to this. Peyton Manning, if you remember, retired with a Super Bowl win. Jeff Gordon retired with 93 NASCAR wins. And one of your favorites, Tony Romo, ended his career as a cowboy and is now a broadcaster. Many of you have left Facebook to your parents and your grandparents, and now you're living on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. <laughs> Much has happened to the campus along the way as well. Groundbreakings and ribbon cuttings, new programs and majors were added as well. And this is a very special day for the College of Science and Technology as we graduate the first students from our new civil engineering program. Yeah, congratulations. And that's only after breaking ground six weeks ago for a new engineering building. I'm grateful that members of this class have committed themselves to Tarleton's core values of tradition, integrity, civility, leadership, excellence, and service. Here are a few examples. After graduation, Michael Helbert was committed to teaching in a community much like the one that he grew up in. This fall, he's going to be teaching eighth grade mathematics in a school with 92% economically disadvantaged students. By living up to this promise, Michael is demonstrating our core value of integrity. Reuben Martin pursued excellence as a world-class athlete who traveled around the globe competing in judo. As part of his education program, he did an internship at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. Now, we wish Reuben well as he competes to be a member of the U.S. Olympic team. Chris Utenen of Waco started his studies 20 years ago and has co-authored a number of research projects in stratigraphy and paleoecology. Chris is beginning his graduate work in the fall and he's researching those newly discovered dinosaur tracks all over Central Texas. I celebrate each member of this class today and I thank you for your contributions to the university in the classroom on campus 
and the community and beyond. As you move on, know that you take Tarleton with you. Friends that will last a lifetime, a network of faculty and staff who want to hear from you in the years ahead. I expect many of you have phones filled with your time as a student, and I trust you have a heart filled with wonderful memories. As educated men and women, as Tarleton graduates, much is expected of you. I ask you this, continue to live our core values. Keep them close. They will be a compass for you in a challenging and very changing world. I also ask you this, keep wearing purple and be proud to be a Tarleton Texan, for we are very proud of you. <clears throat> Also very proud of you are the family and friends who helped bring you to this commencement day. We all know that no one gets to this day alone. The support of family, friends, coworkers, and classmates is a vital part of your success. And many of those people are here in the audience with you today. And so what I'd like to do is ask that the family and friends with the graduate in the audience, if you would please stand, and graduates, this is opportunity, your opportunity to give an enormous shout out and thank you to your family and friends. Family and friends, please stand. Graduates, say thank you. <clears throat> thank you. At this time, I would like to recognize members of the platform group. Today is a very special privilege to have with us the newly appointed chair of the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System, Charles Schwartz, and the chancellor of the Texas A&M University System, John Sharp. Gentlemen, would you please stand and let us thank you. I believe that is the first time that has ever happened at Tarleton. As I introduce the other members of the platform group, would you please stand when introduced and would you please hold your applause until all are standing. Dr. Karen Murray, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Laura Boren, Vice President for Student Life. Dr. Ty Minkler, Vice President for Finance and Administration. Dr. Kyle McGregor, Vice President for Advancement and External Relations. Dr. James Pierce, Dean College of Science and Technology. Dr. Steve Dameron, Dean, College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. Dr. Jordan Barkley, Dean, College of Education. Dr. Vimala Pilari, Dean, College of Health Sciences and Human Services. Dr. Chris Shao, Associate Dean, College of Business Administration. Dr. Credence Baker, Assistant Dean, College of Graduate Studies. Dr. Kelly Lemons, Assistant Dean, College of Liberal and Fine Arts. Ms. Janice Horrock, Assistant Vice President for Development. Dr. Javier Garza, Assistant Vice President, Enrollment Management. Ms. Manon Shockey, Faculty Senate Representative. Mr. Morgan Carter, Staff Council Representative. And Ms. Donna Strohmeyer, Chair of the Commencement Committee. Please join me in recognizing these outstanding leaders. <laughs> As was explained before the processional, some graduates are wearing cords that represent high achievement and academic honors. Some graduates are wearing red, white, and blue cords representing achievement and honor of a different sort. They are veterans who we recognize today for their service to our nation. It is their sacrifice and that of their families that allow us to freely pursue life, liberty, happiness, and our education. I would like to ask all the veterans in the class or in the audience and active or reserve duty personnel, if you would please stand and allow us to thank you for your service. Please stand. Thank you, gentlemen. Now will Lieutenant Colonel Marty Decker please come forward along with cadets Adewale, Aidan Rayleigh, and Grace Kantz, who will be receiving their commissions today. Over the years, the sons and daughters of Tarleton have brought honor to this university through exemplary service to our nation 
ensuring our freedom and the opportunity to pursue our education. Tarleton has a very long and proud association with the ROTC program dating back to its beginning in 1917. During our commencement ceremonies this weekend, seven graduates will be commissioned as officers of the United States Army. The oath of office will be administered to Cadet Aidan Rayleigh, a biology major from Lagos, Nigeria, and Cadet Kantz, an environmental engineering major from Fort Worth, Texas, by Lieutenant Colonel Decker. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. Aye, state your name. Aye, Eddie Raleigh, Eddie Raleigh. Aye, Grace Camps. Having been appointed an officer. Having been appointed an officer. In the Army of the United States. In the Army of the United States. In the grade of second lieutenant. In the grade of second lieutenant. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservations. Without any mental reservations. For purpose of evasion. For purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. That I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Upon the office which I'm about to enter. Upon the office which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, lieutenants. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Deckard, and congratulations again to the newest second lieutenants in the Army. We thank you for your dedication and service to our country. This year, as you've heard, Tarleton is celebrating 100 years as the founding member of the Texas A&M University system. In February 1917, the legislature adopted, adopted the bill joining the two colleges. Today, the Texas A&M University system includes 10 other universities and seven state agencies. We're delighted to have with us this afternoon the Chancellor of the Texas A&M University System, Mr. John Sharp. The Chancellor is a graduate of Texas A&M University, where he was a member of the Corps of Cadets and student body president. He distinguished himself as a leader, including service to our country in the U.S. Army Reserves, an election to the Texas House of Representatives, the Texas Senate, and the Texas State Controller. He also brings to the university experience as a small, business owner, and he has served as our chancellor since 2011. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chancellor John Sharp. I asked President Otavio what he wanted me to talk about, and he said, I want you to talk about two minutes, and so I get this. <laughs> I want to congratulate you graduates on a life-changing moment in, in your life's history. Uh, you have had, you're graduating from one of the absolute best universities the state of Texas has to offer, if not the entire country, uh, from perhaps the most beautiful campus in the Texas A&M system, if not the entire state of Texas, and you've been privileged to have some of the best professors and instructors that exist anywhere. And obviously, you've been privileged to have some great parents and great friends uh, that persevered with you in order to make you, uh, get you to go through this process. So congratulations to each of you, and a special congratulations to those of you who are the very first in your family to graduate from college. If you are one of those, would you raise your right hand? Good. Now, you got, in about 15 minutes, you guys that raise your hands are going to completely change the future of your families. Because the dinner table discussion is no longer going to be after today, are you going to go to college? It changes to where are you going to go to college? So congratulations to each of you as well.
Today you join about 750,000 former students and alumnus of the Texas A&M University system who will do anything you ask them to do if it's legal, and some will go beyond that. <laughs> so don't be shy about asking for help from anyone that wears one of the 11 rings that are represented in the Texas A&M system. We are so proud of you. We're so proud of what you've accomplished, and we're so proud that you persevered. Congratulations. Now, I have with us today uh, the big boss of the Texas A&M University System. The chairman of the board of the entire Texas A&M University System is Charles Swartz. Charles Swartz was just uh, elected chairman of the board uh, last Thursday. Uh, he is one of the most uh, preeminent uh, attorneys in the state of Texas. When he retired, he was uh, the managing partner of perhaps the most famous international law firm that exists in the United States. And we're so thankful for the leadership that he has given over the last four years and now as chairman of the Texas A&M University System. May I present the big boss, Charles Schwartz. Uh, Chancellor Sharp, President Dottavio, faculty, distinguished guests, friends, and family, and most important, members of the Tarleton State University class of 2017. We're here today to award your degrees, and we're also here today to recognize with an honorary degree, Mr. Dwayne Mayfield. Dwayne, I want to be among the first to call you Dr. Mayfield. When I came to the Texas A&M University system four years ago, Dwayne Mayfield was among the first to welcome me, to support me, and to advise me. It is one of my highest honors as a regent of this university system to participate in this ceremony today in which Dwayne Mayfield receives an honorary degree. Now that doc, I can call Dwayne Mayfield Dr. Mayfield, I just want to ensure that he doesn't charge me for office visits. <laughs> I'm honored today to bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System. Uh, as a regent, I, I have the opportunity to, to be at events such as this with young people, and I'm inspired by those events. It, they make me feel young again. Sometimes I, I feel almost 50. <laughs> the, this, this system and its universities have been dedicated to providing uh, and improving the lives of Texans through teaching, research, and service for 140 years. Charlton has been a partner in our system for 100 years and celebrates its centennial this year. Uh, this partnership is among the most successful educational partnerships in higher education today. I'm pleased to welcome the graduates to the community of educated men and women. I know that your experience here at Tarleton has well prepared you for your life's journey. I wish you the very best in all of your future endeavors. I remind you that it is your responsibility to make the world a better place. And I implore you to support public higher, I, I implore you to support public higher education in Texas. Now, as the chairman of the Texas A&M University System Board of Regents, it's my sincere pleasure to authorize President Dottavio to confer the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended and with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations thereto. Thank you and congratulations to Dr. Mayfield. Thank you, Chairman Schwartz. We appreciate your visit today to participate in this very important occasion. Graduates, this is your day. You're finally here. 
It is, it is you we are here to celebrate, and for this reason, a member of the graduating class has been invited to address the commencement audience. Today's speaker has waited a long time to receive his bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering technology. Like others in this class, Brandon Langley wasn't sure that he wanted to, what he wanted to do as he completed high school. Brandon earned an EMT certi certification and had a career as a firefighter and a paramedic in Big Spring and Abilene. With a wife and son, he made a career change and entered the business world after moving to Stephenville. His wife, Beth, earned a degree from Tarleton in 2014 and is a teacher at Stephenville High School. Next, it was his turn. Brandon always had thoughts of being an engineer and he found a home in engineering technology. He was named the department's outstanding graduate. Brandon, Brandon plans to start his career in engineering with an eye on earning a master's degree in mechanical engineering. Oh, and he also wants to get his private pilot's license in the near future. I can't resist saying that the sky's the limit for this talented graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Brandon Langley. Hey. <laughs> Greetings, family, friends, and alumni. On behalf of the graduating class of 2017, I'd like to thank you for being part of our journey. We know you've made sacrifices for us, and we want you to know that they do not go unnoticed. To Regent Schwartz, Chancellor Sharp, Dr. Dottavio, Provost Murray, distinguished stage party, faculty and staff, I'm honored to be here with you as we celebrate our achievement and move forward into the next chapter of our lives. To you guys, Tarleton State University graduating class of 2017, congratulations. We made it. Like me, it may have taken some of us a little longer than others, but we made it. In our time here at Tarleton, we learned many things. We learned history, math, literature, we took science, like geometry, not chemistry, and physics, which are really just more math. <laughs> and we learned how to push ourselves in order to achieve our goals. We also learned that pulling that all-nighter, studying for a big exam, is about as fun as it sounds. Along the way, we received encouragement, inspiration, and advice from many people. And I'd like to share a piece of advice my grandmother gave me many years ago. She said, don't worry about how long it takes to do something. It doesn't matter. The time's going to pass regardless, and you'll either have accomplished your goal or you'll be dreaming about it. It's a simple statement, but powerful. You don't want to look back at your life and think, I wish I would have. Do whatever's in your heart, do it now, and one day soon you'll look back on your life and say, I did that. Your life will be full of challenges, so look forward to them and the opportunities they offer. Choose to meet those challenges head on. It all boils down to making choices. The choices we make define us, so I challenge each and every one of you to choose. Choose to move forward with whatever's in your heart. Choose to believe in yourself. Choose to be a lifelong learner. And never believe anybody who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I can confidently say I've proven that's not true. Choose to forgive both yourself and others. Choose to be fearless. Take that job offer. Start that new project. Chase that dream. Choose to not be afraid of failure. I believe the only way you can truly fail is in failing to try in the first place. Fail is just an acronym for first attempt in learning. Even if the outcome doesn't look like you thought it would, you'll most certainly succeed if you just learn along the way. And we've all heard the story about Thomas Edison and how it took him over 1,000 attempts to create the light bulb. Some say that he failed many times and he succeeded only once. In reality, 
He didn't fail at all. Thomas Edison chose to move forward. And in doing so, he changed the world and learned over 1,000 ways not to make a light bulb. <laughs> Thomas Edison himself said, many of life's failures are experienced by people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. I encourage you, be like Edison. Keep moving forward and learn along the way. When we leave here today, we will all be faced with many choices. I encourage each and every one of you to choose to be a person who has a positive impact and builds up those around you. Choose to be someone who brings out the best in others and encourages them to accomplish the impossible. Be deliberate when you choose your tomorrow. Graduating class 2017, several years ago, we chose to begin this journey. Today, each of us has earned the right to say we did it. I close with this. What will you choose tomorrow? Thank you. Thank you, Brandon. Your remarks, you have represented your graduating class very, very well. At the heart of a Tarleton education is our distinguished faculty. Their scholarly work creates new knowledge that improves the lives of all of us. The faculty have been partners with these graduates as teachers and mentors, challenging and supporting students as they have worked toward this day. From your Texan tour leaders who gave you your first look at this beautiful campus, to the team who's organized these seven graduations over today and tomorrow, hundreds of staff members have made Tarleton your home away from home and have helped you reach this day. Will the representatives of the faculty and the staff please stand so that we can recognize and thank you. This commencement is enriched by the presentation of an honorary degree. Such an honor is awarded to individuals whose accomplishments and service exemplify our mission and stand as examples of our aspirations for these graduates. An honorary degree recognizes excellence as recipients have distinguished themselves in their fields and in the endeavors of life. A candidate for an honorary degree must be approved by the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System. Regent Schwartz will present the academic hood to today's honoree. Chancellor Sharp will present the commencement medallion. Vice President McGregor, please bring the recipient forward. Mr. President, it is my honor to present A. Dwayne Mayfield for the honorary degree, Doctorate of Humane Letters. <laughs> Mr. Mayfield's contributions as a lead engineer on the F-16 aircraft project and his global business leadership on Lockheed Martin's management team helped Texas become one of the most important locations for global aviation and aerospace industries. He received an associate degree from Tarleton State University in 1957 and both bachelor's and master's degrees in civil engineering from Texas A&M University. He also received a master of business in administration from Texas Christian University. Mr. Mayfield was president of the Tarleton Foundation and is a member of the College of Science and Technology's Dean Circle. The Tarleton Alumni Association named him the 2017 Distinguished Alumnus. Mr. Mayfield and his wife Linda endowed a scholarship in engineering and generously supported other Tarleton initiatives. The members of our award-winning Tarleton aeronautical team who participate in NASA-based competitions have the extraordinary benefit 
of having Mr. Mayfield as an advisor. The man who led the design team for the F-16 combat aircraft and who was a senior advisor for all Lockheed Martin fighter and transport business initiatives now gives his time and support to this student-led rocket design team. We proudly honor him for his professional contributions to the advancement of aviation and aeronautical systems. We celebrate his commitment to today's students as well as his investment in the future of our university. Dwayne Mayfield's life of leadership and integrity brings honor to his alma mater and inspires us all. By the authority vested in me as president of Tarleton State University and in recognition of his achievements, I confer upon Mr. A. Dwayne Mayfield the honorary degree Doctor of Humane Letters. Congratulations, Dwayne. <laughs> Dr. Tavio, I'm deeply honored and humbled by this recognition, and I want to thank you and your staff, Chancellor Sharp and the Board of Regents, represented here today by Regent Charles Schwartz. As you heard, uh, Regent Schwartz was just named Chairman of the Board of the Regents. And Chairman Schwartz, I congratulate you on that election, and we look forward to your leadership as we forge new trails for all of the universities in the A&M system. You know, it's especially meaningful to me today for this recognition in the centennial year. I'm blessed to have been a part of the, both institutions, A&M and Tarleton, for a significant part of, of their respective histories, and have watched with pride as both have soared in national prominence and enrollment. But both have, been remain, have remained steadfast in being student-focused, and carrying strong core values. Now, I think of importance to the students and the parents here today is the fact that the leadership continues to provide a quality education at a cost that is ranked among the lowest in Texas, important to all of us. Now, my background is no different from, uh, from many of the students here today. I was guided by my ag teacher who saw in me a need and maybe a little spark of promise and personally brought me to then a two-year college, uh, John Tarleton Agricultural College, and encouraged me to enroll here and follow his footsteps on the A&M, which I did. I was the first generation, like many of you, college student on either side of my family, immature, poorly prepared, uh, oldest son of a sharecropper family in the middle of West Texas drought, and I had no idea of a major or what I might aspire to in the future. But Tarleton did for me what it has done for many and what it continues to do today. It afforded me access to an affordable, high quality education and prepared me very well for entry into Texas A&M. The faculty here was patient, the university understanding, and I learned under some of the Tarleton giants, O.A. Grant, Dick Smith, and my favorite of all, Mae Jones in the math department. Uh, she was tireless in her instruction and patient to a fault in nurturing me through all of the math courses required for engineers. This, this and the pre-engineering studies that I did here prepared me very well for my time at, at A&M and I felt very much at ease with my peers as we went on to the senior engineering design courses. Now, I have no doubt, absolutely no doubt in my mind that my life would have been totally different and far less successful had I not taken this path through Tarleton. I know it would not have been, I know it would have been less enjoyable because this is where I met my future wife, Linda, and has been with me on this journey. 
But this improbable journey from a dryland cotton patch in West Texas to being involved in a leadership position in a team designing and marketing of revolutionary aircraft was a dream career. Working with that team sent me to the four corners of the earth, working with, with world leaders as we changed the face of tactical fighter aviation throughout the free world. And it all began right here on this campus for me, and for that I am thankful. Now, I've been blessed with the opportunity, as uh, the other speaker said, to be involved both at A&M and Tarleton. One of my great joys is to, is to see where we have come in the engineering program. Uh, we now can offer BS degrees in several engineering majors, and it's my distinct pleasure today to hear that we're graduating a few engineers. This is going to help uh, Tarleton, and it's a vital component to a, to a techno, technical component for future careers. So to the graduating students and parents, I salute your choice in selecting Tarleton to prepare you for the many opportunities that, wait, that await you. Shaped by the core values of the school and educated by a dedicated set of professors, you're well prepared for taking on the world in ways that you may not have dreamed possible. I wish you all Godspeed on that journey, and I share your joy as you cross the stage. Dr. Tavio, again, my heartfelt thanks, and thanks to Chancellor Sharp and Regent Charles Schwartz for your presence. You're both great friends and glad to have you here today. We, I thank you for the meteoric rise that we've seen in the presence of Tarleton in North Texas and the difference that the Texas A&M system is making in the world. Finally, thanks to my family for being here today. Uh, thank you, for Linda, for your outstanding support, my brother Durwood and his wife, Aileen, and our special thanks to our son David and his wife, Julie, for making a special effort to be here and bringing my favorite grandson, Kelton, my only grandson, by the way, uh, <laughs> who has the world in front of him. Thank all of you. Congratulations again to Dr. Dwayne Mayfield. And now we are to the most important part of the ceremony, the presentation of your degrees. I'd like to welcome to the podium Dean Pierce and Dean Barkley to present and recommend the candidates for the baccalaureate degree. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree from the College of Science and Technology please rise. Provost Murray, Carl Sagan once said that science is based on experiment, on a willingness to challenge old dogma, and on an openness to see the universe as it really is. And Louis Pasteur said that science and its applications are related to one another, such as the fruit is related to the tree that has borne it. Today's graduates from the College of Science and Technology span the spectrum from the natural and applied sciences. While some will pursue careers planting the seeds of scientific discovery, others will endeavor to harvest the technological fruit. These are the scientists, mathematicians, teachers, technologists, engineers, and leaders of the future. These graduates are prepared to be the innovative thinkers and problem solvers who will meet the challenges in the areas of the natural sciences and engineering. They create the change and they will also help us to adapt to it while holding fast to our principles and values. I'm extremely proud to present these candidates for graduation from the College of Science and Technology. On behalf of the College of Technology's faculty, I certify that they have met all the requirements for their degrees. Please be seated. So will the candidates for the bachelor's degree in the College of Education please rise.
we can always count on teachers being wild. <laughs> so graduates, today marks what will surely be one of the most memorable days of your lives. It is my hope that you have used your time at Tarleton in the College of Education to build lasting friendships, to find a mentor or touchstone, and to develop the skills you will need to successfully carry the Tarleton name into your chosen field. As Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, whatever course you decide upon, there is always someone to tell you that you are wrong. There are always difficulties arising which tempt you to believe that your critics are right. To map out a course of action and follow it to an end requires courage. That you have made it to these seats today is a testament to that courage. Provost Murray, the students standing before you are the educators and family and child specialists of tomorrow. These graduates will no doubt leave our gates to act with integrity, to demonstrate sound leadership practices within their respective fields, to uphold the traditions that have indelibly marked them while here at Tarleton, to demonstrate true civility to all mankind, to strive for excellence in each task they encounter, and to impact the lives of thousands of young people through service to their families, communities, and beyond. Our future stands before us, and as Dean of the College and on behalf of the faculty, I am extremely proud to recommend for graduation these students who have satisfied the degree requirements of the College of Education. Will all the candidates for the baccalaureate degree please stand? President Dottavio, these students are candidates for the baccalaureate degree as prescribed by the faculty of Tarleton State University and the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System. As Chief Academic Officer, I present them to you with both personal pleasure and Tarleton pride. Graduates, by the authority vested in me as president of Tarleton State University, I confer the bachelor's degree upon those of you who have successfully met all requirements associated with those degrees. You now hold all rights and privileges belonging thereto. I charge you as educated men and women of the world to use your education in the service of others. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you.